Hey Z fans, today I have for you the Dragon Ball Z Irwin Toys model kit of TN from 2000. This particular model kit is very cheap and easy to find on eBay. You can usually get them for about 5 or $6, buy it now plus shipping. The box it came in is pretty decent, although I do wish it came with some kind of front cover or something so you could flip it over and see all the pieces inside of it or something. On the back it shows the rest of the series line figures there. Okay, so let's open this thing up. Alright, you know, let's face it, there's like a hundred different versions of Goku and Vegeta, but there's no good TN, you know? So that's why I bought this. I'm trying to see, trying to find a good version of TN. But anyway, here's your instructions in like three different languages and lots of freaking pieces in little baggies here. And here's the, the costume. It's kind of rubbery, actually, which is cool. And the feet. <clears throat> Yeah, lots of little pieces. I think it's like 36 pieces. Okay, so I thought I'd point out one little thing here with this costume. See, it, it's rubbery. See, I, I didn't know that. And also, his shirt does come off. See, this is everything you're looking at here. Main chest pieces. The head. Ball pieces, I guess. Um, no fists. And also legs. Okay, so as you can see, I have a lot of work ahead of me. So if you don't mind, I'm going to go ahead and do this to the Benny Hill theme song, if you don't mind. <laughs>
portfolio. I need Pippi for my bunghole. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Okay, so after all that hard work, which took me about 30 minutes, 45 minutes, whatever, um, this is not a bad figure, actually. Um, on eBay, it says 6 inches. Everywhere you go, it says 6 inches, but it's actually like 6 and a half. Uh, <coughs> it basically has the same articulation as an Ultimate Figure Series. So you got your up and down, side to side. Even the wrist bends there. Oh, and I just put the wrong arm on the wrong side. <laughs> Whoops. Um, yeah, have a very good amount of articulation. Uh, and even the, the pants, I like the pants too, like they're rubbery. But the only problem with that is if you try to pose them in a certain way, the rubber will snap it back into place. So that's one bad part. And because I was already messing with it, trying to pose them downwards, I think one piece came loose inside his, his left leg here. <coughs> or his right leg, so I got to take his pants off and fix that, so that was pretty dang annoying to get the pants on. Uh, head can turn slightly up and down. But yeah, it's actually pretty cool. I might actually buy the uh, perfect cell of this model kit. So, <coughs> yeah. Now, compared to other Dragon Ball Z line of figures, this TN model kit may seem big or too small or just right depending on which line you line it up next to but this is an overall great figure and uh, it's nice to see a, a decent size TN because um, some are like I said either too small or too big and see I wanted a TN from the Saiyan Saga and Cell Saga Android Saga and it's like the same TN you know he didn't have like the GT coat like the Jax figure does you know I, I hate that crap I hate anything GT related I just wanted the old style TN you know and I think I found them you know so I give them about a 7 out of 10 but yeah that's about it so uh, thanks for watching be sure to check back here for more reviews see ya